We're back, and we have the combination. If any of you get that uh, reference, um, make sure to send me an email. So, just to recap with this, and we'll do it, because now I'm, doing a, I'm going to do a part two to this. I'm going to do a couple more extra problems on here. But you see here that to make a fraction into a decimal, all you have to do is actually divide the 5 by the 9. Because what I showed you kids before is if you had, for example, a 50 over 5, that's the exact same as 50 or 50 divided by 5. And thus, we can solve that. Exact same process. The only difference is we're trying to make them into decimals. In this case, this would not be a decimal. This one ended up perfectly with 10 divided by whole numbers. Let's go on to another problem. Because I did went ahead and made a part two to this. We have, let's go ahead and put four up here. And I'm making up random numbers, by the way. We'll do seven. Excuse me. So, four or over seven. I want to make that into a decimal. We put the seven outside the box. The four goes in. Let's begin. Seven cannot go into four. That's going to be a zero. Let's put our decimal here. We'll put our decimal up here so we don't forget. And as I've told you before, infinite amount of zeros. So let's go ahead and do this. Seven would go into here six, no, five times. So 35. We subtract. We're left with five. Seven cannot go into five. So we have an infinite amount of zeros here. Let's go ahead and put another zero down. I would say seven goes into 57 times. So that'd be 49. Subtract that out. Leaves us with one. Now let's go ahead and add another zero. Okay, looks like seven goes into ten one time. And that leaves us with three. Then let's go ahead and add another zero. This one will go in four times. All right, then if we added another zero, that would go in two times. And as you kids can clearly see here, I am running out of space. Now I'm doing this for a reason. Sorry, had a, a niche. Just so you can see this right here. Because if I added one more zero, look what we're left with, the 40 and 40. So this is what they usually do in math. Three numbers is good enough, okay? So if you get to this point, because also I can keep going, but I'm going to end up repeating this whole section. Just go up to three. Just go up to three there. That's enough to see if the numbers going to repeat or if you're going to keep doing a pattern like this. But I also did this to help with anyone who's still struggling with dividing decimal numbers. That way you saw that, hey, look at all these infinite amount of zeros I added, and I just kept going and going like my normal division. And thus, our answer to this would be 0 0.571. Good enough. Okay, so that's what you'll be doing this week. You're going to be converting these. Now, I know you may be asking, but wait, Mr. Sanchez, would any of these decimal places, so here, let me erase that. You may be asking, but wait, Mr. Sanchez, is there a time where a decimal can be three over four? It's like, yeah, actually it could. It's possible. But you have to start with this number first. So we have 0 0.75. The five here, is located in the hundredths place. Good job. So it's in the hundredths place. So that means I'm going to put a 100 down here, put my line, and now I'll put the whole number on there. 
we know we can reduce, right? So, when we reduce, we already know that, I know that we know that 5 goes into each of these. So 5 would go into, uh, you know what, I'm not going to follow that. Let's just do the simple one. We got 3 over 4. Because 25 goes into 75 3 times, and 25 goes into 100 4 times. Thus, 3 over 4. So the only time these decimals will end up like these are as if they can be reduced. So that one, I already know that one will not be able to be reduced. That'll be 93 over 100. This one will be 2 over 10, which is going to be equal to 1 fifth. And then zero, and then sorry, 42 over 100. That one, and let me erase this. This one, if we divide by 2, we've got 21 over 50. So there you go. So let's please keep that in mind. That is what you'll be doing for math these next two weeks. The idea of making fractions into decimals and decimals into fractions. And as you can see, your first step for this, find the place that this is in, put it over, and then see if it can be reduced. If not, you're good. Here, just divide these numbers here. If you go as far as this number did, just stop here at number three, and you got your answer right there. And like I told you in another previous example, this should be enough to know whether you're going to have a number that's going to be repeated. Alrighty, well I'd ask you all if you had any questions, but unfortunately I can't do that right here. Please remember that um, you or your parents can email me if you have any questions or concerns. Um, always here on my computer, um, always do my best to respond quickly, and I'm still here at the school every day. So please remember to contact me if needed. Have a wonderful day.